हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज रेक्टिलीनियर फिगर हियर द एक्सरसाइज 13.1 ओके फॉर द अदर चैप्टर प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स the website link will be there you can find all the chapters from class 9 okay so here some number 1 if two angles of a quadrilateral are 40 degree and one 110 degree and the other two are in the ratio 3 is to 4 so first one 40 degree second one 1 110 degree and others two are 3 is to 4 so as here 3 is to 4 so here you can write down the first angle 3x and second angle x where x is a non zero constant now in a quadrilateral you have to always remember that the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral that one equal to 360 degree okay that means 40 degree plus 110 degree plus 3x degree plus 4x degree that one equal to 360 degree so here you can write down 150 plus 7x it's 360 so here 7x equal to 0 1 and then x equal to 30 so as here x equal to 30 so that means the third angle 3 into 30 it's 90 and the fourth angle 4 into 30 that one equal to 120 degree as your answer Okay, now next one, some number two. If the angles of a quadrilateral taken in order are in the ratio one is to two is to three is to four, prove that it is a trapezium. Okay, so as here, suppose uh, this one is the quadrilateral. So here the ratio one is to two is to three is to four. Okay. so you can easily find out the all angles because the sum of all angles that one equal to 360 so the first angle equal to 360 into 1 by sum of the ratio so here the sum of the ratio 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it's 10 so that means here first angle equal to 36 degree so second angle equal to 360 into 2 by 10 that means equal to 72 degree okay now the third one equal to 360 into 3 by 10 it's 108 degree and the fourth angle 360 into 4 by 10 that one equal to here 144 degree okay 144 degree so this one a b c d okay now as here angle a and angle d that means 36 plus 144 angle a plus angle d 36 plus 144 that one equal to here 180 degree okay so as here a plus d equal to 180 degree and these are co interior angles okay these are co interior angles as ad parallel bc that means here abcd is a trapezium okay as angle a plus angle d equal to 180 that means co interior angles so therefore ad parallel bc that means abcd is a trapezium now next some number 3 if an angle of a parallelogram is 2/3 of its adjacent angle find the angles of the parallelogram it's very easy so if the first angle equal to x then definitely second one will be 2 3 2 by 3 into x and these two are the adjacent angles so you know the sum of adjacent angle in a parallelogram that one equal to 180 so that means if you add these two angle that one equal to 180 so here 3 that means here 5x equal to 180 so definitely x equal to 180 into 3 by 5 okay 180 into 3 by 5 that one equal to 108 okay so that means here the first angle if 
then second one will be two third of this one so 72 degree okay then the other angle will be another one 72 and 108 okay because the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal remember that okay now next sum number four so here in sum number four four a so first here you have to draw the diagram here a b c d is a parallelogram okay so a b c d this one a b c and this one here d b d a diagonal that one equal to here 80 degree that one equal to here 70 degree okay calculate angles c d b c d b means this one this angle and next one a d b that means this one okay so it's very easy as here this one equal to 70 degree so the opposite angle that means angle c equal to also 70 degree now in the triangle d sorry b d c in the triangle b d c this one here 80 this one 70 so the remaining angle that means angle b d c equal to 180 minus 80 plus 70 that means 30 degree okay so here the first answer that one equal to here 30 degree now the next one as here abcd is a parallelogram so definitely dc dc and ab are the parallel side okay here bd is the transversal so definitely this this one equal to 80 so this one equal to also 80 alternative angles okay so that means here the next one adb equal to 80 degree alternative angles now next sum number 4b so here in 4b abcd is a parallelogram okay so again draw a parallelogram that is a b c d here so two diagonals a c and b d intersect at the point o that one equal to here 77 that one equal to here 35 clear now find the angles of the triangle AOD. Okay, very good. So first you can easily find out this angle as BOC is a triangle. So angle BOC equal to 180 minus 77 plus 35 degree. Okay, 180 plus 77 that one equal to here 112. So 68 degree. So as this one equal to 68. So definitely here angle AOD equal to 68 degree because vertically opposite angles so okay so this one equal to here 68 so as this one equal to 68 definitely this one equal to 35 because alternative angles as this one equal to 35 so this one equal to also 35 and the remaining if this one equal to 77 then this one equal to also 77 so that means here the three angles are 68 degree 77 degree and 35 degree as your answer now next one some number 4 c here a b c d is a rhombus rhombus means all sides are equal okay so a b c d two diagonals a c and b d the whole angle equal to 72 degree and here this one equal to x degree you have to find out the value of x here okay so here ABCD is a number that means angle A and angle B that one equal to 180 degree. So here angle A plus angle B equal to 180. So as angle A equal to 72, so angle B equal to 180 minus 72 and that one equal to here 108. Now if you want to find out the value of X, so X equal to half of angle b that means here 54 degree because the diagonals of the rhombus are bisect the angle okay now next one some number five in the figure one abcd is a parallelogram okay again a parallelogram so these two sides are parallel and this one also and here it's 2y plus 2 it's dc here b here a this one equal to here 2x and this one equal to here 3x so 
parallelogram with perimeter 40 okay find the value of x and y okay it's very easy so as this one equal to 2x so definitely this one equal to 2x because opposite sides are equal so here you can write down 3x is equal to 2y plus 2 because ab and dc are the opposite side of the parallelogram so definitely equal so that means here you can write down x equal to here if you come on 2 that means y plus 1 by 3 that is the value of x now as the perimeter okay as the perimeter means sum of all sides that means 2x 3x 2x and then 2y plus 2 that one equal to here uh, what 40 degree okay so no need to uh, find out the value of x here you can just replace the value of 2y plus 2 that one equal to 3x so here 2x 3x 5x 2x 7x and instead of 2y plus 2 you can write down 3x here so that one equal to here 40 that means here x equal to 4 okay x equal to here 4 so now next thing you have to find out the value of y so as here x equal to 4 then here 2y equal to 4 into 3 12 minus 2 that means here 10 so y equal to 5 so y equal to 5 and x equal to 4 is your final answer next one some number 5b the previous one is 5a and that one equal to 5b okay in the figure 2 given below a b c d is a parallelogram again you have to find out x and y so first here you have to draw the parallelogram here and here this angle equal to 3x minus 20 this one equal to here y plus 15 and this one equal to here x plus 40 it's c d a b now you know the properties in a parallelogram opposite side sorry opposite side and also opposite angles are equal that means a is equal to with c so 3x minus 20 that one equal to x plus 40 so here you can write down 2x equal to 60 that means x equal to 30 now the another thing two adjacent angle the summation of two adjacent angle that one equal to 180 so here 3x minus 20 plus y plus 15 it's 180 now x means 30 so 3 into 30 is 90 90 minus 20 plus 15 it's minus 5 plus y it's 180 so that means here y equal to 180 then here minus 85 okay 180 minus 85 and that one equal to here 5 then here it's 9 so 95 degree is your answer Now next some number 5c in figure 3 a b c d is a rhombus rhombus means all sides are equal okay here the diagonal that is y minus 1 this one equal to here 60 degree and here it's 4x minus 4 okay and this one here 3x plus 2 now you have to find out the value of x and y so a b c d so it means here a d is equal to a b numbers all sides are equal so 4 x minus 4 that one equal to 3 x plus 2 so from that one x equal to here it's 6 okay x equal to 6 now the next thing here in the triangle a b d angle b a d equal to 60 degree okay and also angle a sorry side a b and side a d equal that means isosceles triangle so if this one is isosceles triangle then definitely the addition of these two angle this one and this one equal to definitely 120 degree because in a triangle the addition of three angles that one equal to 180 if angle a equal to 60 then definitely angle ABD plus angle ADB that one equal to 120 
and S triangle here triangle ABD is an isosceles triangle so definitely these two angles are equal so each one 60 degree this one also 60 degree okay now as three angles are 60 60 60 that means three angles are equal so definitely it's an equilateral triangle also okay that means triangle ABD is an equilateral triangle so you can write down 3x plus 2 is equal to with y minus 1 so as here x equal to 6 so 18 plus 2 it's y minus 1 so 20 then 21 so y equal to 21 as your final answer now the last one sum number 6 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel the diagonals ac and bd of a rectangle a b c d intersect each other at the point p so here a b c d write down a b c d rectangle diagonals ac and diagonal bd intersect at the point p if angle ABD, ABD means that angle equal to 50 degree, find the angle DPC, that means this one. You have to find out the value of this angle. Okay, so here angle, here angle PAB is equal to PBA, that means this angle is equal to with this one, this purple angle. So that one equal to also 50 degree. Okay. So, 50, 50, it's 100. So, definitely this one equal to 80 degree. So, as this one equal to 80 degree, then this angle equal to also 80 degree because vertically opposite angle and that is your answer.